Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome in Comdarchi Podcast Season 4. Saison 4 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et and maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archie. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's good to meet you again in season 4 of Comme d'Archie, episode 49. Let's start by quickly presenting the office Epicuria Architect and then their field of work dedicated to teaching. Discover three of their projects, Made in Timber, to reconnect humans to nature. A text by Epicuria Architect. One architect, three projects. Episode 2. Epicuria Architect creates public, educational, cultural and sports facilities. Clarity, luminosity, functionality, such is its credo. If you haven't already, we invite you to listen to the number 47 of season 4 for a more exhaustive presentation of the agency. Three projects, common theme. First project, the Julien Gracq High School in Beaupréau. Building a welcoming place, open to the surrounding nature, consuming no more energy than it produces and displaying the values it defends. The challenge was great for this first public high school in the Mauge region. The large wood envelope and interiors, the dry stone bays and the green roofs contribute to the user's well-being and anchor the building in its natural environment. The project offers an original composition, clinging to a sloping site and following the morphology of the plot. In this wooded area, Untouched by any construction, the buildings have been designed in strips, staggered along an east-west axis, along the counter lines to open up the perspectives and benefit from the best sunlight. An interior street, glazed, protective, wide and bright, a real living space, encourages exchanges and conviviality. It offers views of nature but also of the entire building while serving as a bioclimatic space. It captures the natural heat and light to better diffuse them in the interior spaces. The environmental ambition is reinforced by the compactness of the complex and the creation of a Canadian well, visible to all, which is not only thermal, but also educational for the children. Second project, the Paul Langevin School, Fontenay-sous-Bois. A low-carbon, wood-frame project with adobe walls to reconnect with nature in a very urban environment. The structure and envelope of the school group are built in wood. The display on the scale of the district, the original identity of this public facility, while providing great comfort of use. The base walls are made of raw earth, worked by journeyman builders, thus reviving ancestral and traditional gestures. The exterior spaces are dotted with greenhouses, beehives and educational gardens accessible to students. The link with the earth and the elements is also symbolically found in the Aboriginal motifs drawn on the ground in the playground. The classrooms are bathed in light with unobstructed views while a natural ventilation system promotes well-being and allows for significant air renewal. For this frugal building, the energy aspect is also privileged. The proposed strategy includes a trombe wall to optimize solar heating, as well as photovoltaic panels and a high-performance thermal envelope. The project has been recognized as a Bâtiment Durable Francilien, BDF. Third and last project, the saint germain en laye International High School. In a magnificent wooded site, this international high school is a unique public establishment. More than a high school, it is a true school complex that welcomes 2,300 students from all over the world, from kindergarten to high school. In this natural setting, the choice of wood cladding was essential for this restructuring and extension in order to unify the architectural style of all the buildings. The kindergarten, 
the junior high school, the high school, the gymnasium, and the multipurpose building dedicated to school life. The entire street of the high school, full of light, was also clad in wood for its thermoacoustic role. The vocation of the Lycée International de Saint-Germain-en-Laye has always been to provide high-quality education. This school complex trains students from kindergarten to high school who will integrate tomorrow's institutions of higher learning that aim for international standards. In terms of image and communication, the architectural and landscaping treatment of this large-scale school complex favors a new perception concerned with future issues and its openness to the outside world. Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in. Let's meet again soon for a new Kamdashi in English. And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Robourg, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.